Okay, hello there. Uh, this is Peril, and I wanted to just show you guys um, before Quake Expo ends. Just want to make a little video here showing you guys some of the features of uh, Brazen. I can probably use this video elsewhere too, but uh, this is for Quake Expo basically. Um, this is our main menu, as you can see. Um, we designed it off of the me menu in EGL, which is the engine that uh, Brazen runs on. It's a, a very powerful engine. Um, may not have many of the graphical things most new engines do, but it's uh, so powerful enough to do what we want it to do. Um, the GUI system was unfinished, but still very good. It was, I believe, based off of Doom 3 and Quake 4 GUIs. Um, I had finished uh, the rest of the definitions, uh, like list boxes and uh, text boxes. Radio boxes and uh, things like that, and used uh, the basic layout that uh, Econ did for uh, his version of um, uh, EGL. So we've got uh, our credits here, which was basically the first thing I I did because it was one of the easier designs to make. Uh, our game menu is not entirely finished, but uh, load game and save game work fine. Uh, these took me a little while to do, but they're perfectly functional. Our multiplayer menu is not. We've got uh, an address book that you know works fine. You would go and it would go to the server. Uh, we've only put together a small uh, example of what's going to be here in the player settings menu. We're going to have the spinning model and you know everything that the old one did basically. Our options menu was probably the one that actually took us the most. Well, it took me the most time to do and actually finished. Um, we've got all the the binds here. You know, you mine it somewhere to quake. Uh, which is you know what we're going for, and you got check boxes. Um, each each menu little little panel here has its own special um, things inside of them. Here you've got a lot of effects over here. You got the sound. There's uh, an in-game win in-game uh, win-up controls in Brazen, so I put them in their own little panel here in case you you know don't want to use them. You can just hide it and you know never see it again. And a nice crosshair selector I had put together here, uh, which took me a number of time too. Uh, as to that, we've got an update menu, which was actually really neat. Um, my friend Wolf put together this auto updater for me, and it works perfectly. Uh, if if a new update was found and you ran uh, Brazen, this little pop up in this pa uh, panel in this area down here would come up saying there's new updates, and you click it, and it'd bring the, bring you to this menu. But um, you can check for updates anytime. It'll tell you if it found anything. If it did, uh, it would say that the patch is available, tell you what version you, you're using, and the version of the patch. Uh, and then there'll be a big description down here and a download patch button. And once it's downloaded, it would tell you that it's done, and you can install it whenever you need to. Uh, you could be playing single player while the patch is downloading if you don't want to be bored just sitting there waiting for it. Um, and that's pretty much it for the menu. Uh, so I'll show you something I put together a little while ago. I had just finished the list boxes, and this is basically the um, the uh, the test I made. Uh, we're still using, you know, just fill boxes for the um, the buttons and the the scroll bar. The bar actually can't be scrolled. Uh, that's probably something we're going to be doing later on. But as you can see, you can select a value, and uh, the val you'll see the uh, Savar was actually changed. That's what the gold means. Means that's what it's currently using. Uh, this will actually be used for our in-game entity editor, so you'll be able to select your weapons and stuff from the list here. You see E is here twice. I was just doing to see how long I could make the bar before everything started to explode. I had a lot of trouble getting uh, the scroll bar thing to work. And uh, that's pretty much it for the menu. You can climb and shimmy edges to quickly get to your targets using shortcuts.
Each monster has their own special set of gibbs without using any new models. Dead struggles weapons to save on your own ammo. 